Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got uh, an exciting video for you. It's going to be a nice addition to our house and uh, one person in particular is going to be enjoying it. Um, as you can see it's called the Shack. It's uh, a replacement dog kennel for my dog's current one which is this one here. Now this one here is uh, quite a few years old. It's seen its fair shares of winters and summers out here. Um, and it's starting to uh, get a little bit of sort of rot here and there. <laughs> it's not in great condition, so I thought we'd give him a bit of an upgrade. Now this one unfortunately doesn't have a uh, little window on the side, uh, like that one does, for a bit of extra air. But uh, I have had this kennel before, and it um, he seems to like it as, as much as the other one. Uh, now this is the small size. Um, Kobe is... Pretty typical of that small size there. He's a mixed breed, but uh, that's pretty much right uh, for his size. As you can see, there's a dog on there who looks pretty happy with the product, so hopefully it's gonna be the same for us. Uh, now this product uh, I purchased from Bunnings, It's this is the small size, obviously, and it's around about $120. Uh, so it's on the cheaper side. Um, of kennels. If you're online looking at kennels now, you'll probably see a lot of them are, are very expensive. Um, these ones are really good. They last a long time, even without any um, extra protection put over them. Uh, here in Melbourne, we get a bit of rain and a fair bit of hot weather in the summer. Um, a little bit of humidity and frost. Uh, so we pretty much spread from you know, minus one or two at night all the way up to nearly 50 degrees here in Melbourne, um, depending on the season. Uh, right now we're getting into spring, which is nice, so it's about 20 degrees today. It was very sunny until uh, about five minutes ago. <laughs> now, my dog Kobe is out on a walk um, at the moment. Um, so he's going to get a nice surprise when he comes back. Uh, so hopefully I can get this done pretty quick. And I can show you the different stages and how it looks when it's finished. Now, from memory, it was pretty easy to put together. Uh, but today I do have my little uh, Bosch uh, sort of mini screwdriver. Uh, cordless screwdriver, um, my soft hammer just in case I need to put <laughs> bang something into place um, and some pliers and of course a Stanley knife to open up the box. Uh, so let's open it up and have a look. Okay so here's what will greet you uh, when you open it up. We've got the uh, the nice weatherproof uh, roof here. I'm not sure what the material that is that it's made out of but uh, yeah it is waterproof and gives a, a good amount of insulation. Open, fold that back there and uh, yeah it's nicely packaged with some uh, paper in between each layer uh, okay so I'm going to uh, spread these parts out and we can have a look okay so here's all of the components spread out obviously got the back and the front there uh, the roof which we saw a little bit before you got your uh, three floor panels and then your, your two sides with the little angles. Now I think the only thing I had a little bit of problem with last time was affixing the hinges uh, to the roof. And here they are here. Um, that's just a little part of the kennel that I found a little bit uh, of a weak point. Um, but we'll see how it goes this time. Perhaps it's been uh, updated in the past. Uh, we've got all our little screws that came with it there and a pretty simple instruction sheet. So what I'm going to do now is uh, grab the old kennel, move it out the way and give that area a little bit of a clean off. Then I'll start the assembly process. Okay, so I've given the area a little bit of a clean where the kennel's gonna go uh, and a little bit of a hose off. Uh, now this corner is really good as it um, is sheltered from the sun uh, for most of the day. Uh, and in winter, it does get a little bit of sun to make it a little bit cozy. Um, and we could uh, protect it from the rain perhaps a little bit better, but it is pretty shielded in this corner. And I think that's pretty important to uh, uh, give your pet a nice uh, comfortable place uh, to have a sleep or a snooze or to get out of the weather. So um, this is uh, a really good spot for it. So let's go to the assembly now. Okay, so here's the uh, shell put together. Um, lined up pretty good. It just needed a little bit of uh, persuasion in the corner there with the uh, mallet. Um, but uh, yeah, lines up pretty well. 
Um, now the other thing uh, to, to do these up properly, um, you probably want a ring spanner. Um, I'm going to improvise today and uh, use my pliers just to, to hold them um, as I tighten them up. And I'm just going to get my uh, cordless screwdriver on this side and uh, tighten them all up. Uh, then I'm going to be putting the floor in, just making sure it all uh, lines up. I'll then uh, put it in position and we will have a crack at, uh, at doing the roof. Okay, so here it is with the uh, in position. We're going to put in the last uh, floor panel there. Um, now that lined up pretty good. It's got some nice ventilation on the floor here to get a bit of airflow. Um, the only thing I had a bit of a problem with it was it didn't quite go in very well on the right hand side. Just needed a little bit of a tap like uh, the middle piece did there. Uh, but in general, it fits really good. And it's nice and snug, nice and secure. So uh, let's get the roof happening. Okay, now this is the part that I uh, just had a little bit of a trouble with last time, and it's no big deal, but uh, I think for those younger people out there that want to help uh, make this kennel, maybe leave this next bit up to the your parents. Um, as you can see, the roof has the two notches there uh, to put the bracket in, but uh, the sides actually don't have any holes at all. Um, doesn't really give you a massive guide as to how to... Uh, line it up. Now it does have uh, obviously a bit of instructions there on where to join it um, but yeah you've sort of got to uh, just have a bit of fiddle with it and get it into place so um, I'm going to do that now um, and as you can see also that the back just slots in to those two little gaps so it's pretty easy to put in um, it's just a matter of uh, getting these hinges right so I'm going to have a go at that now and uh, showing you the finished result. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is attach the brackets to the roof here, and then that'll give me a good idea of where I want to position them at the other end. Okay, so these hinges are now in place uh, in the roof. So now all you do is just bring it down, uh, put the hinge in the upright position, of course, and I'm um, going to, uh, yeah, just work out a nice point there where it's going to sit quite comfortably and uh, drill them to the sides here. And I'm going to do the obviously the same thing on the other side. And then this kennel will essentially be complete. Okay, so the hinges are in place now. Obviously that's the uh, locked position. So when you want to close it up, you just give these both a push in, and they will unlock, and then the, the lid lowers down. So I'm going to do that right now, and we can uh, attach the roof section to the rear. Okay, so last of all, uh, we've got these five uh, points at the back here, which uh, connects the lid uh, to the back. Um, it's pretty important as when you're opening and closing the lid and it's going into that lock position you don't want it sort of uh, wriggling up and that could quite easily pull those brackets out I think. So um, I'm going to get into those and uh, then we're going to put the uh, finishing touch on the kennel. Okay so we've now finished up. Uh, kennel's fully assembled, the roof's working really well, it's fully attached. Um, and yeah, it's nice and clean at the moment. So I'm just going to add in uh, the last touch, which is uh, Kobe's little uh, bed that he sleeps on in there. Uh, and then hopefully he should be home soon, and we're going to uh, get him to have a look at it, check it out. Okay, the bed is in place here, and um, as you can see, it's quite handy having the uh, lid uh, the way it is. It locks open, so you can uh, give it a bit of a clean or uh, take out uh, and replace any bedding you'd like. So I'm going to shut that up now and just uh, clean up the little mess I've made here. Um, it's pretty important if you've got any uh, tools lying around or any leftover screws or anything, make sure you've picked those up so uh, when your furry friend comes out he doesn't uh, try to eat any of them <laughs> or get any of them stuck in his foot. I'm going to give it a bit of a sweep up, uh, then it's all ready to go. Okay, so here's Kobe in his new home now. He looks, uh, looks pretty happy, pretty cosy. Uh, I think he's going to be pretty comfortable in this uh, for the the near future. Now I may uh, decide to paint this or put a, uh, a little bit more finish on it just to give it a bit of protection, but uh, I'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching this video. I hope uh, if you're looking at this product, uh, this might help you decide on whether or not you want to get it. Um, 
and yeah, I, th I think this product's pretty good. So uh, I've had a good run with these kennels. It's a shame it doesn't have a window like the previous one, but uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you'll check out the rest of the videos on my channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.